getting ready to go to the store and I just wanted to make a quick video. First and foremost, happy Thanksgiving 2021. I just want you to know that I'm thankful for oh so much. I'm thankful for my mama. I'm thankful for my daddy. I'm thankful for my wife. I'm thankful for my kids. I'm thankful for, for my children's grandparents for bringing them all the way here from Mississippi so that my little baby can spend Thanksgiving with me for the first time when she's 12 years old. Uh, but that's not the reason why I make this video. The reason I make this video is because I just, as I was in the process of writing my uh, book, The Best Version of You, I'm on Love Languages. And it, it got me, you know, to, um, I was writing about, talking about the, uh, I guess you can call it the birth of the relationship, the new part of relationship. You know, when you first meet somebody, there's a, if there's a key thing that kind of sparks off that connection, you know, about the Big Bang. And um, when we think about, the, I was thinking about the Bible and how Genesis, in the beginning, you know. So, if you think about the Bible from Genesis all the way up until Revelations, right? Think about any new venture that we start. There's a beginning, there was nothing in the beginning. It was with the earth was without form and void. You know, just a blank idea, you know, nothing. And then you want to shed some light on some shit. You wanted to see an idea come to fruition. You wanted to see something happen. So you made something happen. You know, something in you moved, something in you sparked, something in you came to life, and that idea came to life. And that's and boom, now you're doing it. Now you're pursuing that dream. Now you're doing that thing. Now you're visibly in that passion. You're doing that. Your dream is coming to fruition. And then, even this with relationships or something, you can always tell when it's coming to an end. That's your revelation. Um, even in the middle of it, you know, you start going through those hard times. You know, you have to refer to the book of Job. Um, when you get to someone you love and someone you're feeling you know you go to the book of ecclesiastics you know that's why they said it's a spell book baby because anything you're going through that book has something it has something that you can take away from and maneuver through in your lifetimes now when they get to talk about spirits and demons right now we don't live in the time of spiritual demons but it's a lot of people battling spiritual demons you know uh because they want to live and be free and be happy, you know, but they can't really walk within their truth. That's the one thing, Jesus, that's one thing why Jesus was so prominent in the Bible because he walked in his truth. He said he was the son of God and he walked in his truth. So therefore, you know, you have to come back to your spirituality and remember that all is all and when all is all, that means that God created you. That means you are a part of God. So therefore, you have to walk in your truth. God gave you a gift. Figure out what that gift is. You know what it is. Because it's what you want to do when you're in your long time. When you're by yourself. That one thing you think about in your back of your mind. Like, oh, I wish I could do this. I right, mean, okay. But if I can do this, I can do this. Then I'll be able to do this. Ask yourself this question. If money wasn't an option. Like you were, you were literally, you were literally a, a billionaire, right? I know you probably go on a vacation. Everybody probably go on a trip. Probably go do this. But and then, what would you do for fun? Because after you got the money, and you know you bought all the bags, and you bought all the cars, and you bought all the houses, then what would you do? Okay, whatever that is at that point in time, the thing that you, that some people may say is embarrassing. You know, figure that out. Figure that one thing that you would do if you had all the money, if you had all the clothes, if you had all the cars, if you had all the popularity and the fame, then what would you do? What would you do? That's your happiness. That's your purpose. That's why God put you here. Okay? That's your part that... That's the part that God said, okay, I want you to do this for me, 
right? And the more you don't walk in your truth, the more you don't, you know, verbally express to connect to the other so that we can all grow as one in harmony and unison, then the further divided we'll be, okay? You have to let people walk in their truth and you won't be so mad about them walking in their truth if you walk in yours. Say that about people who are, uh, who uh, is not too friendly with the LGBTQQ plus 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 people. <laughs> Why are you so mad at them? Hmm. Maybe some, you know, maybe you've been wronged in your past, so now you feel as if everyone is a part of that community is automatically, you know, down or wrong. I, I don't know what it is, but hey, walk in your truth, forgive, heal, seek counseling, you know, seek professional. It's okay to talk to somebody, or. If you feel as if you don't need to talk to somebody, read the Bible, learn from the experience of the Bible. The whole vibe of the Bible, uh, you have to end shit with love, okay? You, the heaven that they speak of, when to get there, you have to get there with love. That's the vibration. That's the vibe. That's the frequency. That's the harmony. That's the feeling. That's the emotion. Tr truth and love. Basically, the whole mm, sum of the Bible up for you. Love thy neighbor. Love them for who they are. Love thy neighbor for who they are. Pretty much sums up the Bible. Because once you, once you start hating on people, right, you're going to have a revelation. And then guess what? You're going to be stuck into this circle again instead of ascending. So you will not ascend. Out here committing these sins. Nah. Commit all the sins you want to, you know. That's why you just have to ask for forgiveness and, you know, walk within your truth. Live with love, lead with love, not out here to hurt or harm nobody. Things will be all right. So, thanks for giving everybody in this line for all this food and shit. I wish I could just cook for people, bro. Like, cook for the world, cook for the city, cook for the community. What they doing? Why they on the curb like that? Oh, no. All right, y'all. I'm putting up in the Albertsons. Got to give me some last minute uh, items from Thanksgiving. Got to make another pan of this beautiful macaroni and cheese. I'll probably tag it at the end of this video so y'all can see what I'm working with. And yeah, on that note, y'all be blessed. Okay? Be blessed. Have a good day. Also, one last thing before I uh, get out of here. See this hat right here? I like this hat. Starting to make me a little hat right now. So, you want to support the. So support your boy, support the podcast, support the whatever venture you got going on, you know. You, you like your little hat is cold outside. Go ahead, uh, drop, uh, I think it's like 1950 on my website. Go to uh, www.s6coffee.com, uh, search up hat. It's called the Distorted Cosmos hat because that's my logo. But yeah, it's a little nice hat, man. It's got the little ball on top, fluffy and shit. Mess with your boy. Get at your boy. Get at your boy. You have a good day. The, the distorted cosmos hat. Check it out. Support.